So, it's dinner time. We're in the kitchen, hanging out, and um, it's one of those moments where I feel like I don't, I don't know what to cook. We've had an unusual week. Um, Jonathan, daddy's car, is in the shop, and so we have been without a car because he's taking the car to work. So, therefore, no groceries. <laughs> It's been weird. So I've just been like pushing it off. Like, yeah, we've, we've got enough, we're good. We've got enough, we're good. We'll wait till the weekend, we're good, we're good. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, what is for dinner? So I'm, I'm thinking we have nothing. There's nothing in the fridge, pantry, freezer, there's nothing. And then I take a minute to calm down, slow down and look a little deeper. And I realize, okay, we've got a little chicken, like, little chicken but I'm thinking that's not enough for family so I'm looking around how can we make the chicken spread how can we make it last um okay a little pasta okay all right right we're getting there and then I figure out we can make some chicken noodle soup here all right little cream of chicken little corn dress that little buddy up and it is gonna be delicious so I'm reminded that we have way more than we think we do and actually I'm standing here at the stove right now cooking and feeling like I must understand the widow in the Bible just a little bit more. Who Jesus said, you know, make this bread and it's it's going to, your flour is going to multiply in the morning and it's just not going to run out. And she kept on trusting and kept on being faithful with what she had and, and God kept on multiplying it. And I... I kind of feel that way right now. I feel like my cupboard is multiplying. <laughs> it's the coolest feeling, even though it's it's not. But God has opened my eyes to the multiplication of what he's given me. And he asked that widow, like, use this flour to make the bread for me. And in the morning, her flour was full again. And every time she followed in obedience, full flour, full flour. And I'm like, this is so cool. I love it. I love it when God reminds me of such practical things. We're going to find a lot of joy in it tonight because of we were reminded that we have so much more than we think we have. And really, that goes for anybody at any stage of life with gratefulness, with a grateful heart, with um, a heart to be resourceful. So take a moment to see what you have, to be resourceful with it, to be extremely grateful for it. And in that comes a feeling of wealth, comes a feeling of absolute satisfaction. I am taken care of completely by my savior. That if he loves the birds enough to dress them in the flowers of the field, he's gonna give me a little chicken in my fridge and he's gonna show me where that pasta is and it's gonna be a delicious soup. And I know that seems so simple and it seems like I might be dumbing that down a little bit, but I think I'm not, boys. When you start to get a grumbly heart, a complaining heart that you don't have enough, look around, look at what you have. You do, you have way more than we deserve, way more than you deserve. And that is by God's grace and care for you and use it, love it, love what you have and therefore you find satisfaction. I love you boys. Be kind, give to others, show respect, love your mother and never forget your dad is really proud of you.